Today I'd like to do a short little video on gaming on the HP touchpad. The good, the bad, the sort of working. Uh, one thing to note, as of January 5th, there was an update for the touchpad that you can find here in the menu. Uh, you may want to check there now if you haven't seen it. You'll notice my icons are a little bigger. And this update actually made a difference in at least one or two games uh, that were unplayable previously. Anyways, for uh, this demonstration, I'll be using CPU Master with my clock a little bit up to 1500 megahertz. Just helps the games run a little smoother. Now let's have a look. A few games I have that seem to work quite well, Sonic CD, Shadow Gun, Worms, Grand Theft Auto 3, 10 year anniversary. Uh, version 1.0 seems to work quite well. Uh, other versions don't work with the sound. So uh, if you want to test this out, look for version 1.0. Air Attack, Hawks, Dungeon Hunter, Good Little War Game, Super Knockout Boxer, uh, Nintendo 64 emulators, PlayStation 1 emulators, Exitium, Siegecraft, Quake 1, 2, and 3, uh, and Spider-Man, which has got some support, but is a good example of a game that, uh, as of the update, is sort of working, but isn't quite there, and Earth and Legend, which, as of this update, seems to work when previously didn't. Let's have a quick look at a few games. Excuse the loading time. Now this game uh, just started working previously. Uh, without that little update, it may not run for you. Looks like a little RPG. You can see I've just started here. Oh, don't shoot me. Pretty smooth. Decent graphics. Uh, pretty good considering uh, the platform. And on to something else. A little Sonic. Now you'll notice after I run a couple games, I want to clear my memory. Uh, things kind of start slowing down. Uh, especially when you're going to run emulator games. Uh, you're going to want to clear that data after. You may exit a game and find the sound is still playing. Now anyone who's played the classic Sonic will really enjoy and appreciate this. Sort of a remake, sort of a rehash, but it's, it's quite got its own feel. A little corks. Just like the old Sonic. Woo! <laughs> Anyways, that's a little Sonic CD. Good game to check out. Um, Dungeon Hunter is alright, but I'm not going to show it now. Uh, Shadow Gun is one of uh, the better games. If you've played Gears of War, you'll, you'll very much appreciate and enjoy this game. Now you'll notice that uh, I'm not showing any of the HD type games uh, because the Cyogen mod uh, was based off of a phone emulation. Uh, it doesn't support the HD games, so most of them won't run, uh, with maybe the exception of this and one or two others. Oh, and you'll see here one of the glitches here uh, as my character is invisible. Uh, you'll notice once you start loading up a few games, uh, after a while you'll start getting a few problems if you don't clear out that memory. Kind of a little interesting. Oh, where did it go? Now this is really one of my favorites. Despite the glitches, uh, it runs quite well. This is only uh, the one glitch I've really encountered so far. Anyways, on to something else. Grand Theft Auto 3, uh, now this really is a good game to get. Uh, unfortunately, only version 1.0 works with the sound emulation. But if you've ever played a Grand Theft Auto game, you know there's a lot of depth. There's a lot of gameplay there. It's worth picking up. Especially if you remember playing Grand Theft Auto on PC back in the day. Uh, it's very true to that. 
few differences. Um, it doesn't appear to be uh, doing pixel shader emulation as the cars don't have reflection textures. Although it runs, sounds authentic, it has all the original soundtrack. Just having a little fun in the cop car here. But as you can see, it's quite fluent. I find the controls are a little tricky. Uh, it would be nice if you could adjust the size of them. A lot of games uh, for the emulators, for instance, do allow you to, and this makes things a little easier. Uh, there's a lot of people uh, who are able to pair Bluetooth devices, such as the PlayStation 3, Xbox controller. Uh, now this works quite well. You can even find them on eBay for quite reasonable prices. Another great game to pick up. Air Attack here, if, if you ever remember playing 1942, 1943 in the arcade, it has that kind of same style there. We'll put this up. Now uh, it used to be that uh, games uh, could be played on a table-like interface, so you'd be looking at them like this, you know, drink on the table, hanging out with your friends. Now this is a really unique one. Uh, everything is very touch and very easy to control. The emulation on this is uh, one of the best for the games. I haven't really noticed any real glitches in this particular game. It's very easy to move even from across the screen. A simple touch flies you up and down all around. Double tap will drop a bomb. That is a really fun game, worth checking out. Air Attack HD. Flips back around here. Super Knockout Boxing is a very fun game. If any of you uh, remember Super Nintendo, Nintendo Punch Out, uh, this is a very true game. In that theme. You see the touchpad does very good on the loading times and stuff. It's, it's quite a snappy uh, machine once you get Android on there. Thank you, Saiyajin Mod Team. Yeah, I'll bring it. Ooh. Looks like we're getting a little slow down there. Now this is why I'd recommend uh, clearing the task manager every once in a while. You say I haven't done it yet, and it looks like things are getting a little slow. Let's see the difference. Look at that, I cleared up uh, nearly 300 megs of memory. Let's go back in. I have another video explaining a little bit how to customize your machine. You may want to check it out. It will explain how to get the task uh, bar widget. A lot of uh, errors or any kind of problems can simply be solved by clearing uh, the task manager. Let's speed it along here. And there you can see already, uh, everything seems a lot smoother. Our character doesn't appear to be disappearing. Oh, you thought he was smart. Anyways, enough of that. Now, I'd really recommend the emulator games. Um, they run very well, uh, especially the Nintendo 64. PlayStation uh, runs quite well, but there are some uh, errors with syncing the sound in the video playback. Uh, some excellent games to play would be like Street Fighter. There is uh, an app version, but it's an HD one again, and it's not working properly. Up, Go for 
Now, certain games like this, uh, you'll notice like right away the sound emulation is a little off. It, it doesn't appear that the processor has any problem. It's more of like a glitch with the sound drivers or the emulator itself. Not really sure which. Okay, oh, excellent. Now you'll notice when you exit some of the emulator games, they use quite a bit of memory and they can kind of, sometimes you'll notice the sound creeping off after you. So every time you're going to want to clear those. Let's see, one more game on here. The ever popular Final Fantasy VII ripped into an MDF MDS file. They're paired files. Uh, this was the only way I was get, able to get the sound emulation proper on this game. This and Final Fantasy Tactics, I should add. load an action scene. Oh, you can see a little bit of the glitching when you uh, try to load multiple screens. It clears up once you go into a battle sequence or something like that. Standstill uh, places are the best to save. Oh, here I've saved right in a battle. Let's try that. Uh, games like this, uh, turn-based games, are a little easier to play on the touchpad. You're really going to want to have a PS3 controller to fully experience uh, gameplay on here. Still very nice for a diversion. I'll show you here. The video playback with the little background uh, videos is working reasonably properly. Sound syncing is a bit of an issue. Again, if you turn off the frame later, uh, it go, just goes crazy, like 120 frames per second. Uh, but it does seem to be a syncing problem, not a performance problem. You know, that's a little video. Yeah, and MDF, MDS files can be ripped by alcohol. Demon tools. So if you're wondering how to do this for Final Fantasy Tactics and Final Fantasy VII, also, Final Fantasy VIII, if you have the CDs, uh, this is the way to do it. Anyways, uh, this was a little look at gaming on the HP touchpad. I hope you've enjoyed it. Maybe we'll just do one more before this gets too long. The N64 emulator, actually excellent emulation, uh, but certain games, say uh, GoldenEye, are just unplayable due to the control setup. Although Mario 64 is quite good. Emulation is actually a little smoother on this emulator. As you can see, I haven't made much progress in some of these games. Just starting out. The sound and video syncs very well. It's a me, a Mario. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this little look into the updated gaming on the HP touchpad. Thank you, Saijin Mod Team, for creating such a wonderful platform for us to update from the WebOS. Can't thank you guys enough and your continued support. I do prefer these enlarged icons. Thank you very much.